Welcome back! We're at the green screen studio of Blisas today. In this video, we'll show you how to make pop-up text in Adobe After Effects. It looks just like this. You can see this on popular Netflix shows like Emily in Paris and others. Create a new composition. My composition settings is 1920 by 1080 at 29.97 frame rate. Click OK. Let's input the sample text message photo. Click File on the upper right corner. Click Import, then choose File. You can also use the shortcut keys Ctrl I or Command I. Drag the image to your timeline. Scale your image by clicking the drop down icon. Then click and drag to preferred scale. Now let's create a rounded rectangle. Long click on the rectangle tool, then click rounded rectangle tool. Click and drag to add shape. Let's change the color by clicking the eyedropper. Put the shape above the image by dragging it. On the shape layer, click Transform, then adjust the opacity. Now we have a guide to adjust the scale of the shape. On the content section, click Rectangle 1, then click Rectangle Path 1. You can now adjust the roundness and scale of the shape. Now let's put some text. On the upper corner, click the text tool or press Ctrl T. Click and drag where you want to put the text. On the character tab, let's adjust the font style and the font size. Download this free font, SF Pro Display. Hold Shift and click the shape in the text, then drag it to our guide. Lower the opacity of the shape to see it clearly, then adjust the text. Next step is to copy the codes for our animation. You can find the codes in the description box below. Copy and paste the first section. On the shape layer under the contents, Rectangle Path 1, Size, Press Alt or Option, then click the round button on the right side of Size. Paste the code in the box. To remove the error in the expression, just copy and paste the text message to the code. Click the text layer, then hit Enter. Right-click and copy the text. Paste it on the code between the quotation marks. Let's try to type some words to see if it works. Let's copy and paste the second section code. Below the shape layer 1, open contents, rectangle 1. Press and hold Alt, then click the timer button on the left side of the word position. The expression box is now open. We can now paste the second code. Same as before, replace the text between the quotation marks. 
hit enter, then copy and paste. Adjust the shape layer to match the text size. On the shape layer 1, click add on the right side of the content section. Then select offset paths. Let's configure the roundness, size, and the offset of the shape. The shape is now reacting to the text. Copy and paste the text in the shape layer. Change the color by using the eyedropper or just type the code to specify the color. Select the text in the shape layer, right click and select pre-compose. Label the new composition, click OK. Double-click the composition. Copy and paste the text and layer on your main composition. Then change the message text box. Same process as before, select the layer then pre-compose. Now let's match our text to our guide. Now let's make the text messages move. Insert the null object. Click and drag the pick whip to our null object. You can also use this to link. Now you can move all the text by just adjusting the position of the null object. It's time to put the keyframes to animate our messages. Click null object then press P. Adjust the first message approximately at the center to have a clear headroom. Let's keyframe the first position of the null object at the beginning of the timeline. Zoom in the time navigator for more accurate keyframing. Count 8 frames from your first keyframe. Then set the position slightly going up. Click your first message layer, press T for opacity. On the beginning of frame, set the opacity to zero and set the keyframe. Then move several frames and set the opacity to 100. Now you can see our message is popping while moving. Hide the other messages to see the effect. Let's try again on the next message. Adjust the null position again. Copy the value of the last keyframe, in my case, it's 850, then hit the keyframe. Move 8 frames again. Then decrease the value by 50 accordingly. In my case, it's 800. Copy and paste the two keyframes. Now just repeat the process to the other messages.
pre-compose the null object in messages. Now we're going to place our background video below our pre-composed tracking sequence. Adjust by dragging the composition. We're going to make the messages follow the motion of the desired object or phone. Make a new null object. Then on the window tab, choose Tracker. Click the background file, then hit the track motion. Click and drag the square icon, then place the small cross mark on the desired object to be tracked. Click the play button and wait till it finishes the whole video. Click apply then choose X and Y dimensions. Click and drag the pick whip to the null object. Take some time to tweak and then you're finally done. Thank you and we appreciate your constant support. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. See you next week!